So today we're going to read in Exodus chapter 32. And in this chapter, Moses is going to receive the two tablets, the Ten Commandments. Now I'm going to read verse 1. Now when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, the people gathered together to Aaron and said to him, Come, make us gods that shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. The people of Israel, they, they didn't hear or see from Moses for a while, and also they did not hear from God. So they wanted to do their own thing. They had this idea that they could make a God for themselves. And so they asked Aaron to make an idol, a golden calf. Verse 2, And Aaron said to them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, your sons and your daughters, and bring them to me. Now Aaron is trying to please the people, and by this he's being a false teacher. Now the focus of adultery is money. The gold here was very valuable. Verse 3, So all the people broke off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. Now here you can see that they paid with gold to get what they wanted, and people can be very generous to get what they want. Now true believers are more interested in God's will. Verse 4, And he received the gold from their hand, and he fashioned it with an engraving tool, and made a molded calf. Then they said, This is our God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. Now this is the same Aaron that was the high priest in the last chapter. Now Aaron formed it, the calf, and he made a mold and created this calf. Now Aaron done all this for the people, and he was misleading the people, committing adultery, before them. Verse 5, So when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it, and Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. Now some people say that it is not Aaron's fault, he was only doing what the people wanted to do, and that he was only persuaded. But here in black and white we can see that Aaron is committing adultery, he did not stand his ground with God. Verse 6, Then they rose early on the next day, offered burnt offerings, and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to play. Now in the Hebrew scripture, this word play means they were committing sexual immorality, male and female together. Verse 7, And the Lord said to Moses, Go, get down, for your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. Verse 8, They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a molded calf, and worshipped it, and sacrificed it, and said, This is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. So what were the children of Israel thinking? Were they thinking that they would bring themselves freedom to do what they wanted to do? And that the golden calf cannot speak or give instruction? Is that what they were thinking? Verse 9, And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people, and indeed it is a stiff-necked people. Now stiff-necked people means that they are not willing to humble and submit themselves. Verse 10, Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them, and I will make of you a great nation. Verse 11, Then Moses pleaded with the Lord his God and said, Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great power 
and with a mighty hand. Now here Moses was very concerned about God's people who committed evil and adultery. And Moses is saying to God, Be comforted. Verse 12 Why should the Egyptians speak and say, He brought them out to harm them, to kill them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce wrath and relent from your harm to your people. Verse 13 Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants to whom you swore by your own self, and said to them, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have spoken of I give to your descendants, and they shall inherit it forever. Verse 14 So the Lord relented from the harm which he said he would do to his people. Verse 15 And Moses turned and went down from the mountain, and the two tablets of the testimony were in his hand. The tablets were written on both sides, on the one side and on the other. They were written. Now this is a miracle because at that time it was not possible to write on these tablets on both sides. Now these tablets were supernatural written by God. Verse 16. Now the tablets were the work of God and the writing was the writing of God engraved on the tablets. Verse 17. And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, There is noise of war in the camp. Verse 18. But he said, It is not the noise of shout of victory, nor the noise of cry of defeat, but the sound of singing I hear. So this is the end of part one. I will continue next time in Exodus 32, verse 19, part 2. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please join me again in the next one, and you all be blessed till then. Thank you.